Hi, I'm Jack from LegalExpert.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking about fibularis tertius leg muscle injury treatment. Now it's important that you should know that you may be entitled to free private medical treatment for an injured fibularis tertius leg muscle injury from specialists local to your area. Also if needed, you could receive guidance and advice from one of our panel of private specialists. You might suggest use a cast, bandage, crutch or mobility chair. Now these can sometimes be costly, but if your accident was caused by someone else, you could be entitled to one without having to pay a single penny. The use of one of these may allow your injuries to heal quicker. Now, leg muscle injuries may differ. As no two injuries are the same, speaking to a private specialist without having to worry about any hefty medical fees will could make all the difference in terms of your recovery. If you've had an accident that was not your fault, you could qualify for free fibularis tertius leg muscle injury treatment from a specialist in your local area. Contact us to find out if you're eligible for free private treatment from a fibularis tertius leg muscle specialist that may also include physio treatment if needed by calling our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and we offer a no win, no fee service. We're also going to be going over some of the steps that we recommend you take as well as looking at information provided by the NHS in regards to dealing with your injury. If you have any questions or requests let us know in the comments and if you like this video please do hit that thumbs up button as this will help us see what type of content people find helpful. If you sustained a fibularis tertius leg muscle injury following an accident that wasn't your fault but was down to the negligence of others, you should bear in mind that you may be entitled to compensation. Now, in order to bring a claim for compensation, we recommend that you speak to a personal injury claim specialist that has experience in dealing with fibularis tertius leg muscle injury claims. The good news for you is that legalexpert.co.uk offers a completely free zero obligation consultation. We will talk through your fibularis tertius leg muscle injury incident with you in order to help you establish what your options are. You can speak to us by calling our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676 or by visiting our around the clock live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week so you can speak to us whenever you'd like. If one of your fibularis tertius leg muscles have become damaged or injured in an accident, we strongly recommend that you speak to a medical professional as soon as possible, as they'll be able to arrange for testing and imaging to take place in order to allow them to see the extent of the damage. Now, in terms of dealing with a muscle injury of this nature, the NHS recommends that you check if you have a sprain or strain. It's likely to be a sprain or strain if you have pain, tenderness or weakness, often around your ankle, foot, wrist, thumb, knee, leg or back. The injured area is swollen or bruised. You cannot put weight on the injury or use it normally. You have muscle spasms or cramping where your muscles painfully tighten on their own. How to treat sprains and strains yourself. For the first couple of days follow the four steps known as rice therapy to help bring down swelling and support the injury. Number one, rest. Stop any exercise or activities and try not to put any weight on the injury. Number two, ice. Apply an ice pack or bag of frozen vegetables wrapped in a tea towel to the injury for up to 20 minutes every two to three hours. Three, compression. Wrap a bandage around the injury to support it. Four, elevate. Keep it raised on a pillow as much as possible. To help prevent swelling, try to avoid heat, such as hot baths and heat packs, alcohol and massages for the first couple of days. When you can move the injured area without pain stopping you, try to keep moving it so the joint or muscle does not become stiff. How long does it take for a sprain or strain to heal? After two weeks, most sprains and strains will feel better. Avoid strenuous exercises such as running for up to eight weeks as there's a risk of further damage. Severe sprains and strains can take months to get back to normal. You cannot always prevent sprains and strains. Sprains and strains happen when you overstretch or twist a muscle. Not warming up before exercising, tired muscles and playing sports are common causes. Urgent advice. Get advice from 111 now if the injury is not feeling any better after treating it yourself. The pain or swelling is getting worse. You have a very high temperature or feel hot and shivery. This could be an infection. 111 will tell you what to do. They can tell you the right place to get help if you need to see someone. Treatment at a minor injuries unit. You may be given self-care advice or prescribed a stronger painkiller. If you need an x-ray, it might be possible to have one at the unit or you may be referred to a hospital. Physiotherapy for sprains and strains. 
If you have a sprain or strain that's taking longer than usual to get better, your GP might be able to refer you to a physiotherapist. Physiotherapy from the NHS might not be available everywhere and waiting times can be long. You can also get it privately. So if you've been involved in an accident which has resulted in a fibularis tertius leg muscle injury and you believe that you're entitled to compensation, we'll be more than happy to hear from you. You should bear in mind that if you're successful in your claim for compensation, the cost of any private treatment should be covered, as well as any loss of income from time off work which may be claimed back for when bringing a claim for compensation. If we take your case on, we'll be more than happy to put you in touch with a medical specialist and aim to find you one in your area in order to further aid your recovery should you require any further treatment. They'll go over fibularis tertius pain, peroneus longus pain at night, peroneus longus and brevis tendons, fibularis longus stretch, peroneus brevis ankle sprain, peroneus brevis tendon flexor and extensor, fibularis longus rupture and fibularis longus tightness. Of course, the circumstances of each incident are never the same. And whether or not you believe you have a valid claim, it's always advisable that you speak to an expert on the matter. So if you'd like further assistance, we are personal injury claim specialists. We offer free, friendly advice on no win, no fee compensation claims. So there's not a penny to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We're rated 4.8 out of five stars and we have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. It'll only take just a couple of minutes for our team who'll be happy to answer any questions you may have to help establish whether or not you have a valid claim. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. You can also check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice from our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis with your personal injury claim.